Hi everyone. Uh, today we will talk about InDesign Server. How you can uh, create a package and how you can install it on your machine. So with the new version of InDesign Server, you only will have an option to uh, get the FRL based licensing for InDesign Server. The serial based licensing is no longer applicable and you will not be able to use that. So how you can install uh, InDesign Server? So you can come come back to the uh, come to the admin console and. If you go to the packages tab, you can create a package and choose feature restricted license and go to next. There will be an option to create an online package. So the activation will happen uh, online. So the machine should be online uh, when the application is installed on the machine. So if I go to next, uh, it will give me an option uh, which version I wanted to install. So if uh, it's required for the development, then I can choose a development version or the premium version or based upon the requirements what you have. So let's uh, go for this. And it also shows you like uh, when this version will expire. So this version will expire on May 14th, 2024. So I go to the next screen. Over here I can choose uh, the platform as Windows and I can choose my locale, North America. I can go to next and I can choose 19.1 so these are the optional components and if you want uh, to use them you can uh, you can install it along with InDesign server but if you do not want to use them and you just wanted to use InDesign server I think you can exclude that and you can just keep InDesign server so if you have noticed on the right hand side there is already a license file which gets bundled with InDesign server so uh, whenever you try to install this particular package on a device this license file will execute and activate that particular device. So FRL based licensing is a device based licensing. It does not need a user email address to sign in. Now we go to the next screen. It asks us whether there are any plugins that I want to keep, but in FRL, we uh, like there are no compatible plugins for InDesign server. Now if you go to next, so this is the screen uh, where you have all the options. So send device information to Adobe. So if you choose this option, then Adobe will get uh, information of the device and the log will be created on the admin console uh, with the device information and license activation option you have uh, this option so make sure this particular url is whitelisted on your firewall and if you want to go for the adobe license server then by fixed ip address you can choose this as well and these are all optional uh, options so i i don't think like this is required for now so uh, now we go to next we just give the name of the package 2024 and we can create package all right so the package has been downloaded now so if i open that uh, under build folder i can see there is a setup.exe so i can just right click on it and run it as administrator so now uh, this will start installing the indesign server on this machine all right, so now the InDesign server is installed. We can click on OK. And how we can verify that uh, it is working. So we can open command prompt as an administrator. So on the command prompt, uh, we have to navigate to the location where uh, InDesign server is installed. So I'll just copy this location. And if I go back over here and type CD space it. So I'm in this location now. I just type in design server dot com dash four one two three four and if I press enter so you can see in design server is loading and how uh, you can verify that in design server is working so this is the message servicing soap request on port one two three four and if you want to test it if the port is work uh, if it is working you can uh, open this link uh, the port we mentioned is one two three four. And if I press enter, so you can see uh, this is how uh, you can verify whether it's working or not. All right, so now we have verified that uh, the InDesign server is uh, working fine. So if we have to check the device status as well. So we have to download this licensing toolkit that is available on the admin console. And once you download it, uh, again, I'll copy the location. And if I open command prompt as an administrator and go to this location, now I have to uh, execute this, uh, the licensing toolkit. So if I press A and tab and just type dash L, so it will give me what kind of license is installed on this device. So you can see InDesign server is FRL online. 
Now, uh, if you're planning to move to a different device or you don't, no longer will be using this particular device, so make sure you deactivate the license from this device and then uh, you can go ahead and install it on the other device. So how you can deactivate, again, you can type Adobe Licensing Toolkit dash dash deacti deactivate. So now if I press enter, uh, the toolkit will execute again. All right, so uh, it says it's completed now. If we check the licensing status again for this device, dash L, and it will, it's not giving us anything. So means uh, the licensing toolkit uh, is, has executed and it has deactivated this particular device. So if uh, the count has been increased on the admin console, so using this command dash dash deactivate, it will uh, decrease the count as well on the admin console. I hope this workflow uh, will give you some information on how to get started with the InDesign server. Thank you.